How different is chanda from tanha? There's kama chanda and then there's kusala chanda. Obviously kama chanda involves craving, but how does kusala chanda work? Is it fair to say chanda is mere inclination? For example, preferring the dhamma as opposed to gossip. Chanda is like your inclination. Is that what you said? Yes, inclination. Um, the, 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 the truth is these are just words and here's an, a good example of where the Abhidhamma helps because the Abhidhamma will categorize all, all, all of the realities and in the base of the Abhidhamma, Tanha neither of these things actually exist Tanha and Chanda are, are not in the as far as I've studied in the Abhidhamma except maybe where they're categorized or where they're, they're explained away as one of the um, realities the reality is Lobha it's a jetasika. Loba uh, is uh, unwholesome. So the point point is that when you say kusala chanda, you're talking about a mind that doesn't have any loba, which is a, a desire. Um, but again, you're, these are just words, and you have to say loba, and you have to figure out what are the characteristics of loba. And it's not logical. It's, it's not about logic or reason. It's about realize. It's about experience. So you will experience certain minds as having something called loba, as having this kind of pull that, that is uh, inclining you towards something or, or dragging you towards something, uh, exciting you in regards to something. And, and each of the jetasikas have different uh, qualities. Um, now, chanda and danha are not, are not actual realities. So the best way to answer these sorts of questions is to go to the Abhidhamma and say, um, Say, look, if you if you want to talk about these things, you have to give me a specific example of a mind, and then we can say, does that mind have loba, or does that mind not have loba? Because it's possible to have a chanda, which is uh, dhamma chanda or, or kusala chanda, which uh, has no akusala, which has no loba, loba in it or moha in it either. Uh, tanha is always uh, loba. When we talk about tanha, we're always talking about lobha, as far as I know. But again, it's just a word that means thirst, as far as I understand. So, um, it, it's semantics. It depends how you use the word. You know, if you said thirst for meditation practice, it could potentially be uh, wholesome, depending on which jetasikas are in there, depending on the abhidhamma. So again, the importance or the usefulness of the abhidhamma, one usefulness.